Hello everyone, this is Mohammed Shakil here and uh, in this tutorial series I'll be explaining you how you can work with the CV joint command which is coming under the DMU Kinematics Workbench in KTRV5. So I hope you watched my previous tutorial so that you can end up uh, creating this particular assembly over here and the mechanism being already created here. So CV joint is simply creating uh, you know, two universal joint among the three parts. So if you are well aware of the universal join you can go for this or else you can watch my previous tutorials to see how the universal join has been created. So it's not necessary that you need to know about universal join to do this tutorial. Uh, without that too, you, if you uh, go from my first, first part of this series tutorial, you will, be, uh, you will be able to end up creating the complete simulation of uh, CV joint. So uh, right here we have this three parts aligned and it's following the rule that is the axes should be aligned in the same plane. So here I have created the new mechanism and my first uh, first joint is going to be the revolute joint. So I'm going to new joint revolute and my revolute joint is going to be created with this particular axis and this axis right here and the planes which I'm going to select is pay attention it's going to be this one and this one and once I click on OK you can see that particular part has gone and aligned to that particular shaft here so basically this revolute joint is the revolute joint which is going to give me the drive give the mechanism the drive so that the uh, complete CV joint mechanisms run so uh, this uh, you know completes the revolute joint creation which is going to contribute for our CV joint creations and simulation so I hope you enjoyed my video keep watching and uh, keep subscribing me ask me doubts for any any part you have uh, ask me for tutorials suggest me uh, new ideas thank you so much